we are in Power BI Desktop, Table View. This is the table. So sometimes what happens is we want to copy this data from the table and uh, use it elsewhere for further analysis. So uh, what we could do is we can just go ahead and try to right click uh, in any of those areas and you have those options popping up. You can copy the column or you can copy the value or you can copy entire table. So the reason is that say, uh, for example, you have created a table in Power BI and you want to use the table and do maybe use uh, Python or some other programming language and try to do further analysis, like I said. Um, or uh, maybe you want to check uh, whatever DAX you have uh, created in Power BI, those values, if they are correct or not, you can run it by uh, some other um, IDE and use your favorite programming language to kind of cross verify the values which you are getting in uh, Power BI, right? So those are the use cases. So what we could do is we can use uh, this option, probably uh, copy it and paste it and save it in any of your favorite program like Microsoft Excel or something. But in our case, what we'll do is we'll use uh, another option. So we'll go ahead and use the uh, Visual Studio Code Editor and we will use import pandas as PD. So we'll use Python programming language. We will use one of the functions um, provided by pandas, which is called as read clipboard. So once we um, run this cell, we have uh, our data in this Visual Studio code. So we have kind of avoided uh, another step where we had to save it locally and load it in, into Python or any other programming language. So that is uh, one step is avoided. So the reason, like I said, uh, we want to do some kind of uh, EDA or we want to verify the values which we got in uh, say, um, Power BI, we want to cross verify them by using some of the programming language. Like I shown here, I have created certain measures in the report page. So I want to verify, for example, I'm trying to count the number of uh, countries. I've got 229. So that way we can always cross verify. So um, this way, what happens is you don't have to save it locally and then again, load it into Python or some other programming um, language and uh, so this way we, we are kind of using the clipboard functionality it's saved initially in your uh, pc or laptops uh, clipboard and uh, that memory and once you use this uh, pd uh, dot uh, read uh, clipboard function so it's automatically there for you to do further analysis i think this was kind of work around instead of uh, saving it as uh, locally we have used this option so thanks for watching see you in the next video